Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I would like to share with you some steps on how to have an easy English conversations. You know, talking with others in English can be a challenge. But if you push your English speaking skills and motivate yourself to keep learning you will improve a lot. Lahat naman tayo ay smart eh. Walang bubo sa tao. Kailangan lang talaga nating i-push yung mga sarili natin para matuto sa English language. So the first step is Change your attitude. The most common problem for people who want to learn the English, including myself, is we worried a lot. Yung iniisip na agad natin, oh my gosh, baka mali na ang sabihin kong grammar, baka mali yung pronunciation ng words. Yan ang dapat I change natin, baguhin natin yan. Positive attitude na I will be able to talk to others who don't speak my own native language. So, kaya ito na yung chance ko para magagamit or mapapractice ko yung English ko. ba? Ito yung kausap mo, hindi marunong sa sarili mong lingwahi. So, this is the right time na magamit mo yung English skills mo. Yung mga passive, may mga sentence tayong mali. For example, He don't know how to speak English. So, mali na yung grammar natin. The correct one is, He doesn't know how to speak English. So, ayan, nakukonsyos na tayo kasi mali yung don't at saka yung... Minsan, pinopronounce natin yung word na instead na red color, sinasabi natin red color. T Tulad sa akin, sometimes pag bis bisaya talaga ganun eh, matigas. Ganun ako. But, that's fine. Okay, the next one is Expose yourself to the English environment. There are many English resources that you can find everywhere. You can watch movies, you can read articles, you can read newspapers, read the children's books. You see a foreigner. Halimbawa, doon sa tourist spot na pinupuntahan mo. You can approach him and talk to him in English or talk to her in English. O ba? Walang masama dyan. Make friends with others. ba magandang attitude din yan? Is keep talking. If you have a chance to talk and test your English skills, just do it. You can even assume a situation and talk to yourself. Pwede rin yan. So here are some simple English conversations that I would like to share with you. Mga common lang siya. So, the first thing you have to do is when you talk 
open your mouth. Wag mong pigilan yung mouth mo. Kailangan widely open. So we will start with the greetings. It's asking and answering questions. The first one is greetings. Hi, how are you? I'm good. Thank you. What about you? I'm excellent. Odiba? Very simple. Remember, you don't need to memorize the phrases or the sentences or the full expressions. You have to familiarize. Next is saying goodbye. It is very easy. You cannot go wrong with this. Let's say, bye. Have a nice day. Or you can say it this way. Goodbye. Talk to you later. Or, bye. See you later. Odiba. Easy and simple. Another question. What is in your bag? It is my book. Another one. Why is she crying? She lost her wallet. Oh, really? That's too bad. Another example. Excuse me. Where is the bus stop? Go straight, then turn left, and you will see the bus stop. Oh, thank you so much. You're welcome. Another example. How many days a week do you work? It is usually five days a week. Oh, that's a lot of days to work. I know, but I have to. I, I need to pay all my bills. Oriba. Another one. Asking permission. Excuse me, can I ask you a question? Sure. Is it okay if I sit here? Go ahead. Odiba? You know, there is always a mistake in English speaking. Especially when you are in the learning process to improve your English skills. But this is how you get better. Just go for it. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you like this video. And I will see you guys next time. If you like, subscribe and hit the bell button for the next video. Thank you. Stay safe. And God bless you all. Bye-bye.